GCSE Vectors, question 8. ACEF is a parallelogram. B is the midpoint of AC. M is the midpoint of BE. CB is the vector little a. ED is the vector little b. And DC is two times the vector little b. Show that AMD is a straight line. Now the way to show that AMD is a straight line is to show that the vector AD is a multiple of the vector AM. So let's draw them on. There's the vector AM and the vector AD we're saying is the same vector only longer. One's a multiple of the other. Showing that one vector is a multiple of another shows they're parallel. But if they both go through the point A, not only are they parallel, they're the same line. So we want to find the vector AM and find the vector AD. We can start by putting on the vector from B to A, which is little a. And we know that because we're told that B is the midpoint of AC. So CB is the same as BA. And that makes it easy to find the vector AD. Because AD is simply AC plus CD. So we can say AD is equal to AC plus CD. And reading straight from the diagram, AC is minus 2A. And plus CD is minus 2B. Now if I'm going to show that one vector is a multiple of another, it'll help me here if I take out the factor minus 2 and rebuild the expression in the bracket will be a plus b. Let's just check that. Minus 2 times a gives the minus 2a, and minus 2 times plus b gives the minus 2b. So that is a true representation of the vector ad. Now we want to find the vector am. So am will be ab plus bm. But we don't know what bm is. However, if I find be then BM is half of it. I know that because I was told that M was the midpoint of BE. So let's find the vector BE. And we can do that by going BC plus CE. So BE is equal to BC plus CE which is equal to minus a minus 3b. So that means that bm is half of that. bm is equal to a half of minus a minus 3b. So that's minus a half a minus 3 over 2b, just dividing both components by 2. And now I can say that am is equal to AB plus BM. And AB is just minus A. And BM we've just found. So that's minus a half A minus 3 over 2B. So we add in on a negative, we take it away. So what have we got? We've got minus A minus another half A, which is minus 1 and a half A, or minus 3 over 2A. And we've got minus 3 over 2b. Now this time I'm going to take out a common factor of minus 3 over 2. And in the bracket we'll have a plus b. Minus 3 over 2 times a gives you the minus 3 over 2a. And minus 3 over 2 times b or plus b gives you the minus 3 over 2b. And now we can see, if I put am at the front there to remind us, we can see that AM is minus 3 over 2 A plus B and AD is minus 2 lots of A plus B. So one is a multiple of the other. So I can simply say AD is therefore a multiple of AD, uh, sorry, a multiple of AM. Therefore, 
AMD is a straight line. And that completes the question for five marks.